Hey, good morning, it's Owen Bigland and this is the Inside Edge video blog. Every day I look at what we call the hot sheets. Uh, the hot sheets are what realtors get every day to their inbox and their computer. Um, I happen to track every listing in downtown Vancouver, Vancouver East Side and West Richmond. Every day I get about 300 listings. These are new listings, price changes and solds. So I spend about an hour every day looking at the hot sheets. I also spend two days a week looking at listings on agents tours. Tuesdays in Richmond and Fridays in Vancouver. I try and see about 20 properties every week. Um, you have to as a full-time agent. You need to know what the inventory is, is like, what things are selling for. Thought I'd share with you today what I'm going to call the good, the bad, and the ugly. And uh, this is what I, I consider over the last few weeks what's come across my desk here to be a good buy and what I consider maybe not to be such a great buy, at least in my own opinion. Let's start with the good. The good is an 18-year-old condo in Yale Town at Davian Pacific. I know the building. Good building, well-run, well-maintained uh, complex. 15th floor, 1,300 square feet with two parking spots. Just sold uh, for $642,000. Days on the market was eight, which is pretty typical. Things that are priced right right now sell extremely quickly. Uh, the unit itself, uh, as I say, 18 years old, is quite, uh, it's all original inside, so it could use some freshening up. New countertops, new uh, kitchen cabinets, some new fixtures, flooring, that kind of thing. The nice thing about condos, $50,000 into one of these units, you've got yourself pretty much a brand new unit. So even with the upgrades, if this person decides to renovate it, which they probably will, they're looking at around $600 a square foot. I consider that a good buy with two parking spots. Um, as investors would say, that's what you call making your money going in. And that's what investors always try and do. You want to try and buy a property that's priced slightly below 10 or 15% below what the prevailing market is at. And I would say that was a very good buy. I'm going to skip the bad and go straight to the ugly. And this is just my personal opinion on this. This is a pre-sale condominium out at UBC. And we all know what I feel about pre-sale condos. I've posted some other video blogs on it. Uh, Pre-sales were okay five, six, seven, eight years ago, but in today's market, I just don't see the value in buying a pre-sale condo. Not when the prices on these pre-sale condos, when you add in the HST or the GST now, are above what the current inventory is on the MLS. Not to mention the fact this particular unit at UBC isn't going to be built until the end of 2013. So you're taking a pretty big chance. Anyways, a thousand square feet for just sold for 1.1 million dollars. I should also point out that this is on lease land. This is Indian land, it's leased or rented land. Now, I don't care which way you cut it, leased land is inferior to, to freehold land. Freehold, which is what the downtown condos are, or most places are, you own the land as well as the building. So this is leased land. 1.1 million, that's $1,100 a square foot. And of course, it just comes with one parking spot. Taxes on this unit are $6,200 a year when it does get complete, uh, which is about double what it would be for the downtown condo. So, you know, I hope this purchase was just strictly on a lifestyle. Some people, you know, don't really care about what the price of the property does. I know it sounds crazy, to me it would, Everyone, that most people that I talk to want to buy something, it's going to be their biggest purchase of their, of their lives and one of the biggest assets they're going to own. They want a fighting chance anyways that that, that uh, unit is going to increase in value over time. This particular one, when you start getting into $1,100 a square foot, you're starting to get into detached prices now. You could buy a detached starter home on the west side for that price, which is going to appreciate at a far better pace than this uh, condo would. So, that's my good, my bad, and my ugly. These are just my personal opinions. The crazy world of Vancouver real estate, you know, there's a buyer for everything out there, but I always, when I'm working with clients, you know, try and focus not only on some place to live and something that they're going to want to live in is desirable, a good neighborhood, but also something that's going to appreciate over time and at least give them the best chance to get that appreciation. If you have any questions on this, you can always reach me at owen at owenbigland.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.